Kal Halalium, La Yahweh Ba Shem Yahushai, Double Honors to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Mill Stone, and Salutations Elect, the Pushing the Truth in the Four Corners and Highways and Byways, and again, all honors to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, we're at GMS Guyana. Uh, this is Brother Yawasab. This is uh, Sakaria. All right, you're just going to do a quick lesson on, you know, us, the men of the Lord, the one third. Uh, the 144,000 men, the hopefully, like, right. you know, will be crucified with Yahweh Shai in this truth. You right. know, and when you say crucified, it means like sacrifice and, and the change and transition from one man to a new, to a, to a new man. Right. Galatians chapter 5, verse 24 to 26. Ah. Galatians chapter 5, verse 24. And they that are Amashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affection and lust. All right, so they, them that are with um, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly call Jesus, Yeshua, etc., or Christ, have been crucified with the flesh and the affections and lust, right? Which, mean, which means it's, it's not, like, not like you put, put in these things on a cross, not literal. Spiritually yeah. making any sacrifice, go yeah. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Good. If we live in the spirit, we walk in the spirit. And what spirit? The laws and commandments according to um Romans chapter seven. All right. Yeah. For the law is spiritual, but we are carnal soul on the sin. Go ahead. Let us not be desirous. Of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Good vain glory, vain glory as in meaningless, meaningless things. Trying to hype up yourself as some bad man, some gangster, and provoking one another. You yeah. know, like your ego, or your pride, your pride um provoke somebody else. Oh, I look better than you in this party. Oh, me pictures look better than you in them nonsense, right? And envying one another. Some say, uh, um. Romans 6, verse 6 to 10. Romans chapter 6, verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Good, the old man, the man you used to be. Like, for example, me, I used to smoke, I used to drink, I used to party. Just today, I meet, meet one of my old brethren I used to do them stuff with. And this is spirit that I go in through, going through this. So you can remind me. To stay on this path, get my shit together, and keep my shit together, so to speak, spiritually. Right up. That the body of sin might be destroyed. Now, that... now the body of sin would be um, both the wicked, this wicked world, because if there's a body of righteousness, a body of Christ, obviously there's a body of sin. And likewise, your physical body, your, your, your um, world, your... Your experience, your your life, your soul, that body, that body of sin, that those practices. Go ahead. Up. That henceforth we should not serve sin. Good. From henceforth we will not, we won't serve sin. We won't feel the urge for smoke. We won't feel the urge for lusting for another man, wife. We won't feel the urge for eat pork and sausage and all these abominable things. Right. Verse seven. For he that is dead is free from sin. Good. Not, well, this boat, literally dead, you're free from sin. Because it's only in this flesh, flesh is be um, tempted by sin. Right. All right? So, and then, spiritually, if you're dead, spiritually, if you're dead, you know, your mindset, the on, unrighteous thing, you know, you're free from it. Go ahead. No, if we be dead with Amashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him. Good. We be dead, just like how oh, Yahweh Shai gave up all he, he lost in the flesh. The scripture said he was tempted in all areas, but sin not. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Slakio. Yeah. yeah. Believe that we shall also live with him, so we can rise with him, because Yahweh is not a man to um forget your works, forget your sacrifice. And this is exactly what we was made to do, to walk in the spirit. Go ahead. Yeah. The Apostle Paul is another... Great example. So he said that how he count all the things which he once knew or once had as lost. Okay. Right? 
Like so, this is verse verse nine, knowing that Amashia being raised from the dead died no more. Death had no more dominion over him. Right, because he shed this mortal body, and he 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 won, he won he won the, the battle of the flesh versus spirit. You know, yeah. he did say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So then, that times when you can slip on slip on fall, but I always remember staying in spirit. Remember that this this thing is a um is a balance, is a learning a learning um thing. You know, we're not like you. Yeah, shy. That's why he was is the is the is the one that made the example. He's his son. You know, we're just the um. The hopefully like seeing him as an example brother what is for in that or stand for in that he died he died unto sin once but in that he lived he lived unto the most high yahweh good he died in sin once but he lived unto yahweh he made his sacrifice he did what he had to do he crucified the flesh spiritually and then physically right accept his punishment you know first peter 4 1 to 4. right this is first peter chapter 4 verse 1 for as much then as amashiach had suffered for us in the flesh arm yourselves likewise with the same mind good just like how we suffered in the flesh Arm yourself, prepare yourself, put on the full arm of, of, of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, your, your feet guarded with truth, and so forth, so forth. All right? For he that had suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Good. Suffer in the flesh so you could cease from sin. Stop right. doing it. Christ didn't die for you, continue slack here. Yahweh Shai didn't die for you, continue in sin. And this is wicked ass Man. pastors has been teaching people. Go ahead. Man. Yeah. Um, likewise, still prepare yourself for temptation. To prepare yourself to go through uh, things like what he went through. Okay. You know, people scoffing at you, um, being prosecuted wrongfully and what's not. Okay. Right. So this is verse two. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the loss of men but to the will of yahweh can they need no more further explanation next verse can. verse 3 for as the time pass our life may suffice, suffice. us yeah suffice me like enough read about from top slack here for the time pass slacky for as the time pass of our life may suffice suffice us to have wrought the will of the gentiles mm -hmm. when we walk in la lavishness loss excess of wine revelings revelings banqueting and abominable idolatries can so it was it's saying like for the time past it's time Past that we used to do these things there's enough all right enough for the most i work work in us this is what the word rot means to so work in us the will of the gentiles the gentiles talking about um the israelites that are scattered you know we read verse four verse four wherein they think it's strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot speaking evil of you slack you this is the um gentiles of the other nations right, all right, right. this them these are the things that they they partake in the viciousness loss excess of wine and so forth yeah. so then speak evil of you it's like who's you for not partaking these nonsense that we do right, right. who's we we are the, we are the sons of the living power the right. one true rule of everything you know yahweh ba hashem yahweh shai right. yeah also, uh, likewise, the scripture will also refer to Israelites who were scattered, you know, or went and followed the custom of these other nations okay. as Gentiles. And what they would have been doing, the same thing, walking in the viciousness, true, true. loss, okay. and excess of, 
excess of wine and abominable idolatries. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. Galatians 2 and 20. So this is Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I am crucified with Amashiach. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I. Yeah, down. yeah. He crucified with Yahushai. He live, but is not at, at, as his self or we he we, we is. Because if you read James 1, I believe 13, it says that um, no man is tempted of Yahweh, nor can tempt Yahweh. But of himself, of his own, um, roughly paraphrasing, of his own desires, you know, seek for these things. So this we mean by crucified of himself, less than I. We back from top, slack you. Right, Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. For I, slacky, I am crucified with Amashiach. Nevertheless, I live ye yet, not I, Can. but Amashiach liveth in me. Good. You see, he disown your own, your own self, your own understanding, your own ideologies, your own Man. opinions. But he allow Yahweh Shai, which is his word, which is the, the law, such as the commandments, to live in you. Go ahead. Man. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I have lived by the faith of the Son of Yahweh, Good. the he, Heavenly Father. He sacrificed so. everything so he could live in faith. A faith means trust, you understand? Like all trust, without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. So he gave up all so he could live in, 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 the, um, in the spirit. Um, Galatians 6 and 14. Lucky, like, yeah, a little piece more. Eh? I agree. Yeah. Right, so still on verse 4. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Can. And this love, this love for people. Likewise, we the men of the Lord, we, we, we sacrifice ourselves for people as well. Because, you know, um, Yahweh Shai is, his, is the author and the finisher of the faith. We're just the in-betweens. You know, we're the, uh, hopefully, like, hopefully we're part of the first fruits. You know, the 144,000 men. You know, it's our love we show in the brothers and sisters and the children, the whole Israel. Right? So, this is Galatians chapter 6, verse 14. But, Yahweh forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Can we won't glory in, in Yahweh Shai's crucifixion? We ain't glad that we king had to reach the point that, that, that he died. And you, you so called Christians, this is exactly what you're doing when you're wearing crosses, tattooing crosses, drawing crosses, posting crosses. I was saying the blood of Jesus and stuff like that. It's glorying in the crucifixion. We hate the fact that we 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 wickedness make it reach to the point, but you have glory and glory in the death. Right. But I I yeah we yes we glad that you know um he, he, he died for his sins, but we we upset that it reached the point. But you know it's our party how about I wish I will. Go ahead. By whom the world is crucified unto me, mm. and I unto the world. Good. So we saying there, the world is dead to him. And we get to the world. We have nothing to offer the world, and the world have nothing to offer us. None. That's why we seek to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right? Get to uh, Colossians 2 and 20. Right. So this is Colossians chapter 2, verse 20. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Amashiach from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, can we be dead through the rudiments of the world? The rudiments mean like customs, the teachings, the whatever nonsense in the world. We dead to them. Can. We don't want none to do it. We don't want to know how how was going a party of a show or good um, event of a raise money can. wickedly and so forth. We want to live justly. Because the most I revealed to us the errors of our ways and, and made us crucify the dead man with first through Yahweh Shai. You know? Go ahead. Are ye subject to ordinances? Seek the things which are above. Good. Be subject to ordinances, right? Which means that 
there are certain things we can't help. For example, you know, one of my brothers over here just get a son, and you know, he had to put the slave last name. You know, he couldn't put the Asherah as his last name. You know, because he gives some of the ordinances we subject to, but don't mean that we can we can give in to sin. Done. Because of the Done. all right. That's why the second part of the same line in the precept it says seek the things which are above. Done. So we are supposed to be seeking these worldly vain glory and no care, you no know, three three or four wicked wives. Done. You know, stuff like that. You're supposed to be seeking salvation through faith. Can. By all enforcing the faith and by keeping the last statutes and commandments. Can, can. Right? And this goes to you so called Negroes, Hispanics, Latinos, Amerindians, Native Americans, mm -hmm. you know, also the confusion of faces. Those are Israelites who look like the so called white race, Chinese, um, the Arabs, etc. All right, because Israel is scattered among all seeds. So, you know, it's a whole mix up. That's why this place is called Babylon. Can. So, crucify yourself with Yahweh Shai. You know, kill the old man. We go to Romans six two to five. All right, so this is Romans chapter six, verse two. Yahweh forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Can you see that? Just as we were just saying. How can we live in sin? How can we continue? The most I forbid that. Go ahead. Right. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahushai and Mashiach, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, right. were baptized into his death. Good. We was baptized into death. Now, don't get it twisted. When I said baptized, just mean an, an anointing, a covering. It mean go down in water. Because water can't clean nobody. Right. Nobody water can't wash away nobody. So the baptism was just symbolic of how right. you should be covered by the word, covered by faith, covered by Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, um right. grace and mercy. Yeah. Alright? It's really like putting off the old man and walking into the new man. Right. right? Walking in, coming out to unrighteousness. Like the brother just said, he was um unrighteous in the world, you know, going to a lot of parties, what's not, and now discover this truth. So we're supposed to walk in the things of the true ministry of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, the Heavenly Father, okay. and the Son. Okay? So continue verse 3. Salaki, verse 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, mm -hmm. that like as Amashiach was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Good. So spiritually we buried in death through baptism, through the covering, but then we can be raised up if we walk in the same path of Yahweh Shai. Right. To the best of our ability. Right. Right. Which is like what the um precept said, walk in the newness of life. Supposed to walk in this, the this new truth that we discover, yeah. you know. Uh, verse five. Yeah, verse five. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Good. Planted means you you're secure, you're being nurtured. You know, nurtured through through the um. Through the, through the death, sir, right? Yeah, through the death. Planted together in the likeness of his death. Good. Yeah, so likewise, we was planted in the likeness of his death. In the resurrection, we can live. live um, in the likeness of his resurrection. In the likeness of his resurrection. What do you mean? We can have the same, not the exact same glory, but we, we mirror the glory as Yahweh Shai. You know, when we change these bodies, you know. This, this we mean by crucified with Yahweh Shai. Because with, with, with death comes a rebirth of newness. Because Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is a God of life and not death. Anything else you want to say? Uh, yeah. Like it says, in the likeness of his resurrection, what it's talking about uh, so is the one who are going to be like, like Christ, as the scripture says. Or like a Mashiach, I should say. Okay. Right? 
And with that, you know, Shalawam, Shalawam. Brakata, till another time. Yeah. That's it. Hopefully, this was edifying to all the sincere brothers who are willing to learn. Shalawam. Shalawam.